Hi, I'm David Webster from Digico. Um, we're here at the AES uh, debuting a uh, uh, new SD8 console. Black and gold, as you can see. Um, it's our new entry level console. Um, the, you'll notice a difference between some of our other products in that there's only one screen, but it's a, a large screen. And what we've done here is just as you select your channel banks to come to you, now you do the same with the screen. I can assign the screen over here, and I can either do it with my ha hand here, you can see I can select my master, my left section, the right section, or the center section here. So it's very quick and easy. I can also, instead of having to reach across the console, I can assign everything to the center. So if I'm over here working on these channels and I want to do more to it with the screen, I can just hit assign to center and you see that that's doing that on this. The console itself is uh, based on a Super FPGA. It's a single chip that's doing all the audio processing paths. And it's exceptionally powerful. It's what we have in the SD7, uh, just a smaller version. The console itself has 60 channels but they're mono or stereo. So that's equivalent to 120 channels worth of DSP. You've got 24 buses, uh, obviously assignable, but again, th uh, plus your master, and those 24 buses, again, are mono or stereo. So you could do 24 in the uh, monitor mixes. On top of that, we've got two solo buses. You've also got 12 graphic equalizers. You've got effect slots. So I've got my little rack here that I'm building up. I've got uh, up to six effect slots too. I also, on top of that, have a matrix. So, and my matrix has uh, is 12 by 12. And what you will notice, it's all color coded so you know where you're working. If I'm adjusting uh, inputs, you'll see they're like a bluey gray color. If I'm on auxes, it's violet. So if I assign that to the screen, I can see my auxes here. And what you will notice is I've got my four band fully parametric EQ and my high and low pass filters here. But I've also got dynamics on every single channel, which come up here. But those are there on every single processing path. So if I now go to my auxes, you'll notice I still have that full processing. So I've got my delay, I've got my dynamics, and I've got my EQ on every single uh, bus. If I go to groups, they're red, but I've still got exactly the same pro or processing as you guys say. Uh, same again for Matrix. So it's an extremely powerful console that allows you to do many, many uh, functions. You can also, as you can see here, go through snapshots. So if I go to my master screen and I look at my snapshots, I can be toggling here, go previous, next, etc., and it will change. I can obviously go forward through these, but I can also press and hold and take the surface offline. So by doing that, I can then recall a snapshot while the band's playing that I know I need to change later on. I can make those changes, I can update it, and then I can return to audio. So you'll notice the console, when I do that, goes back to where it was, but I, obviously as I've recalled that, it hasn't made any uh, changes to the audio. Um, that's about it off the top of my head very, very quickly. Oh, no, you do have a stage rack. Yeah. Uh, it comes in the package as uh, 48 in and 8 out as standard. The console itself has 8 analog in and 8 analog out and 8 ASCVU.